Polycap, innovate, illuminate, inspire. Polycap, India's new dawn, in association with CNBC TV 18. In a world where change is the only constant, even the most esteemed legacy brands must adapt to the evolving landscape. Polycab India Limited, a stalwart in cable and wire manufacturing and the fastest growing FMEG brand, understands this need all too well. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Innovate, Illuminate, Inspire, Polycab India's new dawn in association with CNBC TV 18. I'm Shivani Gharat. Polycab India's astronomical growth has been a journey to behold. The numbers speak for itself. With a consolidated turnover of 141 billion Indian rupees in FY23, the company is at the forefront of providing innovative, safe and energy efficient products to diverse customers via a strong distribution network of 4,300 plus authorized dealers and 205,000 plus retail outlets. PIL's business operations span across India through 25 manufacturing facilities, 14 offices and 23 warehouses. PIL has also served customers in 72 countries globally. So I caught up with Inder Jai Singhani, Chairman and Managing Director, Polycab India Limited and Gandharva Tongia, Executive Director and CFO, Polycab India to discuss its growth and transformation over the years. We also delved into the immense potential seen in the cable industry while also focusing on their consumer products and their home segment. So uh, let's just uh, begin with you uh, Inderji. If you can tell us about Polycab's journey so far and what were the key milestones in the journey? I started, I started uh, quite long. It was in uh, 1967 and I was seen that that time I was in an electrical shop. We started as a manufacturing wires and cables. And we have seen a very, very good journey because of the good relation with the distributors and uh, manufacturing good quality of the cables. And slowly, slowly, now last 15 years, we entered into the consumer product, which is all electrical goods in switch, switch gear, light and fans. And now we are growing much faster to the consumer goods. Earlier we were only in cable, but now we are want to be as a consumer product. What was the initial vision when you started off and how in your eyes, you know, uh, has the brand grown over the past so many years? Basically, when we started, in that time, even my habit was to do a planning of the five, five years. In that time, no trader was thinking of that. So I always be the planning minimum of five years where I want to reach. So I seen that if I could putting a challenge ourselves, myself. So definitely I will look on that and look on a 360 degree how to do and uh, whatever figure I have thought, I will reach much more. Uh, Inderji mentioned, uh, Gandharv, about, uh, you know, that five-year planning and, uh, you know, similar to that, you have uh, started something called as Project Leap last year. Uh, tell us more uh, about Project Leap. Uh, you know, you have plans to grow up to 200 billion uh, uh, rupees uh, till 2026. So tell us more and how, uh, you know, far have you come in that journey? Sure. So as Inderbhai was alluding to, we are almost a 50-year-old business. Mm. Uh, we got listed in April of 19, almost five years back. And uh, immediately after that, we started thinking what we need to do next. And in line with Inderbhai's thought process of preparing five years plan, Sometime in May of 2021, we started working on this project, which is called Project Leap. We have BCG as a partner there. They are our consultants. And in fiscal 21, our top line was close to 9,000 crore rupees. We thought achieving 20,000 crore rupees five years on the line by fiscal 26 would be a good target to have. Uh, but that is quantitative target. There were several qualitative aspects as well. How do we get closer to our customers? How do we bring a next level of customer centricity in the organization? How do we uh, revisit our new product development? Uh, how do we get new edge enablers, for example, digital, and so on and so forth? In the first quarter of this fiscal, our top line was close to 4,000 crore rupees. As of now, it appears that we'll probably recalibrate that guidance of uh, 20,000 crore rupees by fiscal 26 and probably move it sooner. Yeah, and what are some of the changes uh, that you, know, you have brought in in uh, Polycap to make this happen, to achieve this? 
over the past are, two years uh, under Project LEAP? There were several. I'll probably give you a couple of examples. One was on the uh, you know leadership uh, pedigree. We realized that we'll probably have to have more leaders in the organization. We'll have to have leaders of a different backgrounds and experiences. We would have added probably 20 to 25 leaders at the top or top minus one position. We have a dedicated team now uh, doing new product development continuously 24 by 7, both on the B2B as well as on the B2C side. Uh, we have also improved on the uh, HR practices, on our governance, and uh, each and every leader is aware about the fact that these are his KRAs or targets for the year. Great, great. And that's a good target to set. Uh, Inderji, if you can share with us, uh, what are uh, what is uh, some of the potential that you see going forward in uh, you know the cable wires and connections uh, market? Basically, now what we are looking, it is a... Uh, World is changing very fast because today's uh, young pop, young generation, everything was want very different. Today you think that earlier time and today's time, we are looking very very big change and we are looking to ourselves also. So had to be changed. So we are now looking to the not only the product, we are looking for how to make a quality product, safe product and longevity product, and how to convince to the customer what should be used by them because of the electrical safety we people don't know. So we are going to guide everybody how to use a good quality of material with the reasonable affordable cost. It is not going to cost much more. Yeah, yeah. So uh, educating the consumers yeah, yeah. Uh, about your products and the safety and everything yeah. that requires tremendous uh, uh, you know advertising and marketing and brand building exercise also. Uh, so Gandhar, over to you, what are the kind of budgets that you have earmarked for uh, you know advertising and marketing going forward? So that's an area where we have improved a lot in last five, few, uh, five six years. Uh, last year we invested almost 124 crore rupees. Uh, the way we look at uh, advertisement publicity spend is uh, as a share of B2C revenue. Uh, as of now, it's around 2.5 to 2.7 percent of our B2C revenue. Uh, over the midterm, it should be in the range of 3 to 5 percent. Very recently, we partnered with ICC, we are their official partners. Uh, we are doing a lot of activities on ATL and BTL, and we'll continue to make investment. And the objective is to ensure that we are considered as a B2C brand as well. Uh, in addition to the existing B2B positioning. So ICC as in we'll see a lot of uh, polygab around the World Cup as well? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, uh, Inderji, you spoke about, uh, you know, how the middle income and younger population generation is also something that uh, Polycab is looking to target. But apart from that, if you can also also share with us, in what sectors do you foresee great uh, growth potential going forward? See, today in India, there's a no limit of the growth because we are growing now in a uh, infrastructure. But infrastructure also, today what we are looking is only 15-20%. Huge potential is there. And what we are talking about, every, young, every man want a home, every woman want a home and personal home. So construction line is going to be boom and industry also going to be boom because everybody in the world is looking to India as a manufacturing hub. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us today and thanks for sharing insights with us. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Well, it's evident that Polycap's journey is one marked by dynamic growth and forward-looking strategies. The potential in this industry, along with targeted sectors, promises a bright future. But what about its latest brand refresh? Come, let's hear it from Bharat Jaisinghani, Executive Director, Polycap India, Nikhil Jaisinghani, Executive Director, Polycap India, and Nilesh Malani, Executive President and Chief Marketing Officer, Polycap India, and on the transformative journey embarked upon by by Polycab India, a journey defined by a strategic brand refresh. Uh, Bharat, let's begin this conversation with you. If you can tell us more about uh, the brand refresh of Polycab. Yeah, so, you know, in 2009, post the IPO, we started uh, designing what we call Polycab version 3.0. And there were three pillars to that. One was being employee-centric, second is being customer-centric, and third was all about digitization. So this entire program or launching the new brand is about the customer centricity mm -hmm. and working on that. 
So as you know, the customers in India change over the next few years and uh, you know, there's a big population, young population that is there to contribute to India. We had to create a new brand image that resonates with them, that works with them. And we have been working on this over a, over a year to understand the science behind it and what is that they will resonate with. So we came up with this new brand image, uh, which is of course very exciting. And uh, we are also very inspired by it because when we look at it, we feel we are, we are creating something for them and relating to this new initiative by us. And having said that, uh, Nilesh, if you can share with us, what was your brief uh, to interbrand to go about, you know, like uh, uh, the new brand positioning and the new identity? So the brief which we had given was, you know, uh, we are looking for future generation. And it's not about just the today present part, but the future part. And how the consumer psychology, the behavior will involve. And what Polycap as an organization can bring to the table to connect with the youth. And then how the entire iconography and the logo and the brand positioning should be. And that's where, you know, that this kind of brief which we gave to our consultant Interbrand. And then they came with uh, a different identity altogether, keeping in mind the young consumer, the youth of the country. Yeah, and uh, you know, just uh, going through a new brand positioning is not uh, enough, Nikhil, as you know. Uh, what are the new products or the new product pipeline in line with this new brand positioning that we will see from Polycab in the coming days? So you see, um, you know, this new brand is all about ideas and connecting ideas uh, to the end customer, right? And, you know, just keeping that in mind, we wanted to make sure that we are creating a culture of innovation, right? So, you know, it's not just what's going to come. We've already recently, you know, we supplied some cables uh, that were in the past imported into India. We've supplied that grant, right? So these were these are all import substitutes. And, you know, we've made them, we've innovated and we've made them uh, in India. So that is one. Of course, when it comes to our consumer products, fans, you know, we're looking at energy efficient BLDC fans. It's not just about products, right? It's also about um, the customer experience, right? So we want to make sure we create digital uh, uh, you know, interfaces for customers so that they can connect with the brand extremely easily. So we will constantly innovate to you know, bring in so many new products and interfaces for the customer. Yeah, so constantly innovate and uh, Bharat, I spoke to Inderji about you know, the whole Polycab's journey so far and very, very inspiring journey that Polycab has had over the past many years. But moving forward with this new brand refresh, with this new brand positioning, uh, you know, how will it shape uh, Polycab's journey moving forward? So first of all, when, when the brand got uh, designed, we ourselves felt very inspired looking at it. <laughs> So we have a, you know, in the name we have an O and if you see the way the logo has been designed, mm -hmm. it's a lot for opportunity and openness mm -hmm. and there is some color to it, which, uh, you know, each of these colors resemble something. One is, which is our red color and you talk about, you know, cables and wires, that's been our history. We have FMEG with the blue and the purple, which is also the color of the year, but we, we got very inspired looking at it as if this is somewhere we are creating a merger of all these things and creating a new future for Polycab. Yeah, and having said that, you know, there is also this part of it where you have to communicate this refresh uh, to the consumer. That That's where your uh, you take uh, charge and uh, your role comes to play. If you can share with us, uh, Ogilvy is, uh, I believe, uh, worked on the campaign. If you can share with us, what was, uh, you know, the thought process that you communicated about this refresh to them? And, you know, uh, tell us more about the new campaign that you are launching. Yeah, so uh, when the entire repositioning of the brand was done, which is ideas connected, uh, our mandate to Ogilvy was to communicate something about how can we bring this perspective live. It may not be today, but the intent is that the brand will be there tomorrow in terms of the way consumer would want. Uh, the brief given to our partners Ogilvy and Mather was about how the brand positioning you know, basically narrates a story which consumer can connect with the problems they face today, but the solutions are not readily available to them. But in future, ek din aisa bhi hoga is what we intend to do. And, uh, and when we will come with a setup of a home solution, we have a product range which is in the electrical domain, uh, which is 
part of every home. And when you, you put all the efforts to make a home, uh, we think that, you know, we should do this for the home, that for the home and improve our lifestyle. But we are trying to change that narrative that the home should be such that they understand the person who are living in. And that's why we are saying, ghar vijo aapko samjhi. Yeah, and what all platforms will you be active on going forward? You know, I, I, uh, Gandharv spoke about your ICC partnership. Yeah. So, I'm sure you are seen around the World Cup. So, yeah. what other platforms will you be tapping into in the coming? So, uh, we have a complete 360 plan and uh, this entire brand repositioning and the launch was planned accordingly. And uh, ICC, we almost signed up a year back. Yeah, yeah And uh, this was there in mind in terms of when we... Uh, launched the new uh, logo as well as the new philosophy of the brand, uh, ICC will act as a big rider. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, this partnership uh, we will, will get leverage. you World Cup also? Yes. Yes. So, we are the official sponsor of ICC and uh, I think it will be complete 360 degree communication with a new narrative which we are planning to launch uh, in the very coming days. Uh, there will be a, another round of digital amplification to entire new brand as well as ICC together, hmm. uh, which will, you know, uh, there in the country, uh, along with a huge visibility uh, within the trade as well as outdoors. Okay. Uh, Nikhil, final thoughts. Uh, over to you. Uh, great new brand positioning, uh, launching with a campaign. Uh, but competition is also pretty stiff in uh, the wires and cables uh, space if you can tell us what gives you guys an edge over the competition well like i mentioned before right we um, have some product differentiation and we've been working on some of that for example we have a green wire um, you know it's way more sustainable You're listening to the customer you know understanding their needs uh, so you know and like bharat mentioned earlier right we worked on this whole transformation project leap where we are trying to get closer to the customer right that's been one of our uh, uh, pillars so you know keeping that in mind the closer we get to the customer the more we listen to the customer and the better we serve the customer i think that's what matters uh, uh, so you know that will that will always be our competitive edge yes thank you thank you so much thanks for sharing your insights and thank you for joining us today Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. It is time for a short break, but on the other side, we will bring you the highlights from Polycab's Brand Refresh event. Polycab. Innovate. Illuminate. Inspire. Polycab. India's new dawn. In association with CNBC TV 18. Polycab. Innovate. Illuminate. Inspire. Polycab. India's new dawn. In association with CNBC TV 18. On September 18, Polycab unveiled a revitalized brand identity signaling a shift from product-centric approach to a solution-driven mindset. The goal? To not only modernize and connect with customers on deeper level, but to also stay rooted in the core values that have defined the organization. This transformation orchestrated by Interbrand goes beyond a mere tagline change from connection zindagi ka to ideas connected. It's a testament to brand's commitment to innovation and relevance in today's dynamic market. Let's have a look at the key highlights. Polycap India unveiled its fresh visual identity, a reflection of the colors of dawn, a promise of ascension. This emblem, ingeniously weaving the letter O from the heart of the Polycap name, mirrors the rising sun, encapsulating the vision of uniting all towards a brighter tomorrow. Red, blue and purple, three vibrant hues speak volumes. Leadership in wires and cables, unwavering connection with customers and a poised readiness for the future. This transformation isn't just a change in appearance, but a journey towards a more modern, relatable polycap, while preserving the core values that define its essence. Furthermore, 
पॉलीकैब ऑल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस अ कम्पेलिंग टीवी सी घर जो आपको समझे रेजोनेटिंग विद इंडिविजुअल प्रायोरिटाइज एफिशियंसी सेफ्टी एंड फ्यूचरिस्टिक फीचर्स इन देयर होम्स Skillfully crafted by Ogilvy, this campaign harmoniously aligns with the brand's revitalized identity envisioned by Interbrand. Well, the brief that we got from Polycab uh, was pretty simple. It was about figuring out what should be the new stepped-up brand as it takes on a new trajectory as it moves into the new orbit. And it was a successful company, and it done pretty well uh, to get to where it did. Uh, it was really important uh, for the sake of authenticity of the brand to figure what the strengths were, and and therefore uh, we did an audit at the beginning uh, across the stakeholders. And what we really found was uh, the core strength that had helped build Polycab uh, was the culture. कितना अच्छा होगा जब सिर्फ आप घर को नहीं घर भी आपको समझने लगेगा तुझको जब भी वो अकेले देखेगा साए सा संग तेरे हो लेगा छत के भी आंखें होंगी समझेंगी वो भी जो इशारों में बातें होंगी फर्श पे पाव जो पढ़ेंगे आहिस्ते उंगली पकड़ के दिखाएगा वो रास्ते एक दिन ऐसा भी होगा पॉलीकैब आइडियाज कनेक्टेड ओके आई थिंक द जेनेसिस ऑब्वियसली स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द न्यू पोजीशनिंग स्ट्रोक प्लेटफॉर्म दैट पॉलीकैब एडॉप्टेड right which is ideas dot connected i think we needed to kind of give it a very simplistic meaning because ideas dot connected came from two worlds one was this whole thing about innovative thinking and that's where ideas is coming from and the second part was connected to the future right um when you look at it it's it's really changing the way a company thinks about everything that they do right it's it's a culture of innovation that they're building and one of the thing that during our discussions we figured that the culture of innovation that we are talking about is just not simplistic innovation it's about thoughtful innovation so the products that we're going to build in the future right or the innovation that is going to drive our products in the future are going to be something which is very intuitive it's like they're going to be part of your life right it's it's uh, they're going to be products that you will understand what you want intuitively well that's all the time that we have for you on this week's special episode of storybot thank you for watching goodbye polycap innovate illuminate inspire polycap india's new dawn in association with cnbc tv 18